about when I think Paul Shane will. <clears throat> yeah, when do you see, think that 10X is coming? That is the name of the stream. So I think predi- the 10. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. No, you. I, I, my prediction is a lot sooner than yours, and, and you go first. All right. Well, then give me your prediction then. <clears throat> you know, I think. I think this FUD's going to last. I think June's going to kind of be sideways, but towards the end, I think we're going to get a little bullish. And um, it depends if we hold that on Ethereum, that 25.4. But the thing is, after the FUD and we start seeing positive energy and people starting to check Pulse Chain out and the price starting to go up, even at 2x, I believe that's going to be enough power to bump that thing up to close to a 10 X within the next three months, I'd say. I think longer. Yeah. And why I think longer is because we saw a lot of sell pressure at a three X. I think we see a 10 times more sell pressure at a five X. So you're going to see, you saw what we did with a three X. We're going to go back up. I have a feeling we go back to three X. We're going to see even more sell pressure there. Everyone who didn't get to sell here, you're going to be like, oh, well, we might. This is my chance right here. And then they'll sell again. But it won't go as low because people are going to realize that those per- people, they, the, crypto doesn't give you a, 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 a second chance a lot of times. So these people who sold here and bought back down here, great job. But here's the thing. This is what happens. These people that did this once usually think that they can do it again. And that's where they get wrecked. So sometime it'll come back up here again and they will sell. So will all the people that thought that missed the selling point. They will sell here. So I'm going over the psych- the, 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 the mentality, the psychological part of crypto, of trading. So those people will sell. But here's the thing. I think it'll probably find support in this area right here the second time around. Maybe this year if it gets too crazy, but it won't go down here again, in my opinion, if we, you know, W out from here. So those people will be waiting for these prices down here again, but they're not going to get it. That right there would take anywhere from, you know, two weeks to a month. Then when we get up to this level at a 5X, it's going to be even crazier. So it's going to be, bam, we're going to get knocked down in here. And then same thing. It'll gather itself back up, go up, and bam, get knocked down, but not as, not as low. And then you start moving up. That's going to take some time. It doesn't happen tomorrow. It doesn't happen in two weeks. Look how long it's been from here. This was on May 23rd. So how many days? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Two weeks. It's always been two weeks. Maybe we take another two weeks to make our way back up here. And then you get slammed down again. That takes a week, maybe. And then you start going back up. So I think everyone's still in a rush. But now I'm about to hit. That's what I think. Now I'm about to hit you. With some alpha. Some how do I back this information up? My question to you, Ian, is what do you back your information on what you think up with? Um, well, I mean, honestly, just <laughs> <laughs> thanks to put me on the spot, B. <laughs> I mean, it's honestly a guess, bro. I mean, yeah, you got some points that you can back it up with TA and stuff, but um, well, what you're do- what you're doing is the typical is the typical. I'm not, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to like call you out for it, but that is the typical mindset of a person. They want something fast. They want an ASAP. They're not willing to wait. They're not willing to, you know, I mean, realize I'm that. To wait. I just. Well, you're willing to wait, but you're impatient. You're like, it's gonna happen in June. Like June, July. It's going. I did there not now. say June. I said three months. Yeah. And we could and we could see. I mean, three months is gonna go by. We got this recorded, so. You know, we can see who was right. So you think August? Yeah, I'm thinking by the end of August. No, I think it's going to be longer. All right, let me back you up. Let's start with... 
Because listen, the basically too, the reason why I think this, I think Richard Hart really is before he really starts sending this thing, doing streams, pumping liquidity into it and doing his thing. I think he's trying to shake out weak hands. And I think going through the summer, seeing what we have, once we pass max FUD, it starts to calm down. I'm more basing my guess off the sentiment. Right now, I feel like we've hit max FUD or close to it. We might hit a little more. And and then when I think that calms down, I think you'll start trading upward a little bit, probably get sold off again. And I feel like once Richard Hart is shaking out the weak hands, I think he's going to send it. And I think it's going to get sold off at, at around a 10x. And um, I think that's going to be like the first – the first pump that we have on Pulse Chain, like the nice pump. And I think it would have already done that if it wasn't for the bridge getting clogged. October, November. All right. That's simple. Why? Because history states it. That's simple. History states it. From the beginning of Hex. So this is the beginning days of Hex right here. As you can see, in the first month, there you go, the low 0.00006259. So those people that got in that first month, 0.0003 on a candle, for them to get their first 10x, it, it took them one, two, three, four, five. So the high was 0.004. From the high on there, 0. 0.0003, it took them five months to get the first 10x. So as you can see, that next month was a 20x. So it took them six, five months. One, two, three. And what, we're already four, in a month? We're already a month in? A month in already. So the low, in my opinion, is 0.40 in the 27. So that was the low of the market. So that's hex. Now watch this. See, and I, I get what you're Just saying. Strange. You're gonna, know, you, you're, you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. You're, you're gonna compare you're gonna it to learn. the X chart. No, I think it's bro. more bullish than X. You're not even there. ETH. Ethereum. Ethereum. The absolute um, price was for Ethereum was thirty one cents for your. Your sacrifice, if you want to call it. After creating its low, it took one, two, three, four, five. So after it's low, right there, now we're going to count five candles. One, two, three, four, five. Really, four months. There we the go. Low. Boom. That's my prediction right there to the T. Well, I count this month because this is a month. So one, two. Three. Oh, you got to say five now. You said from the absolute low, though. Well, I mean, it all depends on when the actual low is. I'm looking at the monthly candle. So you're 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 looking at that, and then once again, that's one, two, three, four. So from the low. So the thing is, you can even say, well, I got my money during this month. So when I say. When I look at that, and I say, okay, it took five months for Hex. I had my money during this stuff. So when was I able to 10X from when I got in? So when from the start. So you can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months for that. So seven months, five months for Hex, seven months for, for um, Ethereum, basically from the start. We'll just say from the start. When was Hex again? From the start, it was, it was seven was, months from the start. No, it was Hex five. Decision. No, that was from the bottom. Right here. Because you got your money from day one. So the question is, how long did it take you to 10x? One it took them a while, man. One, two, three, four, five. Jeez. Five. Six months. <laughs> took six, six months. months. Six and, months. Seven months. Oh, well, he ain't even done yet, bro. That's that's the that's the that's hex. So six months for hex from the day one. Seven months for for 
uh, Ethereum from day one. Let's look at Solana. The, the sacrifice price for April was 22 cents. Can you see that? Yeah, now I can. All right, so 22 cents. So a $2.20 Solana was, was their 10x. So we started in April. So we need to see $2.20. August. So April, May, June, July, August. Five months. So we started in May. May, June, July, August, September, October. Five months. I'll give it even uh, November, six months. October, November. Based on Hex, based on Ethereum, based on Solana, 